guys, welcome to the very first episode of Cam Does Carry. I'm here to give you my take on bags, travel equipment, packing tools, really anything to do with your everyday carry for your longer term travel. Just a little bit about me. About a year ago, I was in the market for a new everyday use of bag, mainly to go to work, uh, but I wanted something good, so I was doing a lot of research, watching a lot of YouTube videos, reading a lot of websites. Uh, became completely hooked. I was binge watching uh, guys like Boris Mono, Chase Reeves, uh, the guys at Pack Hacker, uh, doing a lot of reading, and I fell completely in love with the bag culture and uh, have been immersing myself in it ever since. So I thought that I would give back a little bit and uh, I know how much I appreciated all the guys that were doing reviews on bags and how much that helped me in making my decisions when I was purchasing travel equipment and bags. So I thought uh, I could help other people make their decisions as well. So for my very first review video, I thought I would share with you the bag that I ended up getting for my work carry bag, the Crumpler Pinnacle of Hope. Now, a quick introduction on Crumpler. They're an Australian-based company uh, from Melbourne. They started out making messenger bags in the 90s, I believe, but since then they have expanded into tote bags, backpacks, wheeled luggages, sling bags, anything you can imagine in terms of bags they make. I know a lot of people prefer backpacks to more of your messenger, shoulder-style laptop bag for their everyday carry bag. So I just thought I'd quickly run through why I ended up going with this style as opposed to a backpack. Uh, firstly, I don't need to carry all that much stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I've had a laptop, maybe a water bottle, um, you know, a notebook, that sort of thing. Not a whole heap of stuff, so I did feel I needed a big backpack or you know, the comfort of the backpack to carry everything that I needed to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Secondly, while I don't work in a very formal office at all, uh, I don't wear a suit to work every day or anything like that, I still felt that this style of bag is a little more appropriate to the office environment. Um, and then on the opposite side, if I am going out on the weekends, on the train, to a cafe, just around, uh, this is easily able to fit into that situation as well. So I think this sort of bag is a good middle ground in between like a backpack which is possibly too casual for an office and like a leather briefcase that would be way too formal for just everyday use. So that was essentially my thinking of why I went with this style of bag as opposed to a backpack uh, for my everyday carry or as opposed to going down a uh, briefcase. It's probably worth noting as well that the Pinnacle of Horror isn't your standard messenger style bag where you would typically see that they have the flap that goes over the front. Uh, this doesn't have that. This is a fold down top. So you can see uh, rather than having a flap, this is the main opening. It rolls down and then you flip up. We go. So not your typical messenger style bag. I don't think Crumpler even promote it as a messenger style uh, messenger bag. To be honest, they say it's a laptop shoulder bag, which I guess is is accurate. It carries a laptop and you put it on your shoulder, so that works. But uh, I think it's quite comparable to messenger bag, so uh, I'll refer to it as a messenger style bag. I think that works. So why did I choose this style over a more standard messenger bag style? Uh, it's not that I don't like the messenger style bags or other messenger bags, I really do. Um, there's so many really cool messenger bags out there that I looked at and were close to buying, like the Peak Design Everyday Messenger, the uh, Track uh, Wing Lug Mark II. It was a really cool one that I looked at for a while, the Nutsack Satchel Pro or the uh, Sack Daddy uh, were the ones that I looked at. Um, all very, very cool bags out there. There's so many good ones out there that people are making and Crumpler makes some very cool messenger bags of their own. 
that, uh, that are also very good. The Barney Russell blanket is the, the standard uh, and then the considerable embarrassment is another messenger bag that they do make. And I was very, very close to choosing the crumpler considerable embarrassment as my new work and everyday carry bag. The one thing that turned me off it that I decided was just the deal breaker was that on the front of the flap it had these velcro strips to close the, the, the flap down as well as the box. So two buckles and a velcro strip on the front. And if I'm in a meeting or if I'm on a flight plane or train, if I'm on a conference, something like that, and I am going to get into my bag, the last thing I want to do is to be pulling up the flap and getting that velcro noisy sound that everyone is looking around. So it just didn't fit the, the vibe that I was going for with my work and everyday carry bag. So unfortunately that was the, the deal breaker for me with the considerable embarrassment, which is why I ended up with the pinnacle of horror and I must say I don't regret it. Four storage zones. One, the front quick access pocket there. We have the main compartment into there. Inside the main compartment, this will be difficult to, uh, to find, but I'll try and uh, get a close up shot from a different camera into here. But we have a inside pocket in there. It's quite large as well. And then on the back, we have the rear access pocket, which uh, I would say is the perfect iPad or tablet pocket just there. So those are the four storage zones. Okay, firstly, the front pocket, which uh, I think is the perfect quick access pocket. Uh, now we all know what we want in a quick access pocket. We want something that's easily accessible, that is big enough to hold the stuff that you just need to get in and out all the time as you're getting around, phone, wallet, keys, headphones, maybe sunglasses, that sort of stuff. I think this is a really good one. So it's a, a vertical opening zip here. Underneath the fold down part, and before you say, Mm, if it's underneath the fold down part, it's going to be a bit more exposed to the weather. Crumpler have thought of that. The zip here is a YKK Aquaguard, I think. Uh, so it is going to be more water resistant than your normal zip. So that's really, really good. That's part of the attention to detail that Crumpler have put into their bags. So wouldn't stress about the opening of the zip here. Quite a large one. Usually I keep in here my pouch with my power bank and cables, uh, but it's got a lot more room than that. You can fit more so you can see how far my hand goes in, goes all the way down there across the front of the bag. Can fit so much stuff. You can probably fit an iPad mini or a Kindle in there if you wanted to. Uh, but certainly phone, wallet, keys, um, you know, sunglasses, anything like that, not a problem to fit in the front pocket. Onto the main compartment. So, one buckle done, and here we are. One big zip across the top. To be honest, I don't use the zip very much on a day to day basis. Uh, I just fold it over, do the buckle up, and that's as much protection as I need. But it's good to know that there is the zip as well as the buckle if you felt you needed more security. Uh, but it's a really big zip, really chunky YKK, so no, it's good. Uh, I can't see any issues with the hardware there. If you're into zips, that's a good noise. No problems with the, the zip or the opening. It's just one big space, and bearing in mind this is completely empty at the moment, there's nothing in it, so it's, it's quite floppy. Um, with more stuff in it, it does uh, fill out and gets a bit more structure to it. You can see as well on the lining that it's this ripstop fabric as well. So if you were happening to have a, a tear or a hole coming inside the lining, you should be pretty confident that it's not going to spread and ruin the whole bag. So that's really good. 
doesn't have any organisation to speak of. So if you're looking for pen holders or little mesh pouches or business card holders or anything like that, they're not going to be in here. Which I actually quite like not having that on the main compartment because it means if I'm chucking a pair of shoes or a water bottle or a notepad or something like that into here, I know it's not going to get caught on the pen, it's not going to snag on anything on the walls. Uh, so that, for me personally, is something I quite like. I love that the lining is like this blue, green, teal, maybe? I don't know. But this really white colour. Uh, it really brightens it up and makes it a lot easier to find your things down at the bottom of the bag. If it was just a black lining with the black outside of the bag, it would literally just be one big you know, shadow inside and you wouldn't be able to see that thing. So I love it when bags do have the, the brighter coloured inner lining of the main pocket. So we have the laptop sleeve in there. It's made of this uh, almost foamy sort of material. It's quite soft, so no problems with scratches on your the laptop coming. It does have the, uh, the, the holder of your laptop going over the top. Um, it's just one space, it's not fancy, it's simple. What more do you need from your laptop compartment? So the third storage space is the internal zippered pocket inside there. You probably can't see it on that angle, uh, but it rounds all the way along the front wall of the internal pocket compartment. So we can see there now a better angle of that internal zippered pocket in there as you can see it runs across the whole face it is just that one big empty space i've just been using it for pens flash drives business cards that sort of thing that uh, you need to have with you but you don't necessarily need to have on you all the time uh, they possibly could have put some more organisation inside that zippered pocket. That could have worked quite well, but otherwise, as you can see, quite simple. Just that one pocket and the laptop sleeve inside the main compartment. The final space or pocket on the bag is the rear compartment. Uh, it's quite specifically built, I believe, for iPads and tablets. It's the perfect size for a, a regular iPad. Um, it fits in there really, really comfortably. The zipper is white AK again, not AquaGuard, so that's something to be careful of if you are out in the rain. Uh, but white AK, great zipper, um, and while it's not AquaGuard, it does have these little pockets for the zipper at the end so you can push it away underneath the material there and uh, you can be sure then there's not going to be a little gap at the end of the zipper where rain or water can get in so that's uh, just another nice little attention to detail feature that Crumpler do which is one of the reasons why I really like their stuff. Okay so that's it for all the spaces now let's move on to the strap one of the, if not the most important feature on messenger bags. Really, really solid material, as you expect with crumple stuff. It's, um, it feels like seatbelt material, seatbelt webbing, so it's not going to break anytime soon. Really, really strong. Really nice shoulder pad here. You can remove it if you want to. Why you would ever remove a shoulder bag, a shoulder pad, from a shoulder bag strap, I don't know. But you can if you want to. If the belt goes out, I would leave it on the back. It does slide around so you can adjust it to wherever you want. For me, it sits really quite perfectly there or there. Whichever way you prefer to carry your bag, this is really comfortable. Here's one feature that I do want to highlight on the Pinnacle of Horror that I think is really cool. My old work everyday carry bag had all these squares.
square metal loops that attached the strap to the bag and they were always getting bunched up and getting tangled and fixed around. I really hated it. It was uh, it made the bag quite uncomfortable to carry sometimes and you're always trying to loosen it out. What Crumple have done here is they have attached this strap to the bag, sewn it down here so that it is flush. So that when it is over your shoulder, the strap is going straight up the bag, straight up to your shoulder like that which I think is just really simple, but really effective, and it makes the strap so much more comfortable and helps the bag to just hug to your body, and I really, really like that. I don't know the specifications of the material, I haven't been able to find that, but you can just tell from feeling it. It's really, really solid. It's not going to break, it's not going to come apart, the fabric is just really solid. I've had it out in the rain, I've had it out in snow. Nothing has gotten into the bag. It's just so solid. Uh, it, you know, if you're out on a boat and you drop it into the ocean or if you're next to a swimming pool and you drop it in, that's probably not gonna work out so well here. But in normal rain, it's going to be just fine. Got the front buckle as well, also really solid, really simple, nothing too flash or fancy. Very easy. Oh yeah, it's, it's good. It's not going to break on you, it's not going to fail. I can't see any problems with any of the materials or manufacturing of the bag, which is what you expect from a crumple product. So, how do I pack it? So, let's get all this stuff into the bag. This is some fairly standard everyday carry gear. I wouldn't carry all of this stuff every single day, but I thought I would show you what you could pack into here if uh, you're really looking to get uh, the most out of the bag. All right guys, for the packing, that's a standard iPad 3 with case into the rear iPad pocket, fits perfectly. For the front, quick access pocket, that's a pouch with power bank and cables. That will go into the front pocket along with iPhone and the Nomadic Basics wallet that I will probably do a review on soon as well, very cool. Into the zippered pocket in the main compartment, pens, Sharpie highlighter and flash drive, that's all for there. Also in the main compartment will go notebook and laptop. That's a 15.6 inch laptop, which is bigger than the advertised 15 inch laptop sleeve. So it is a bit of a squeeze to get in. You can get it in there, but, uh, but it is a bit of a squeeze. My work laptop is 15 inches and it fits perfectly. Headphones, that's the Bose QC35 noise cancelling headphones. They go in. External hard drive. A, just a water bottle to take with me as I'm going around and finally to fit in will be a down jacket that is folded into its own pocket if you wanted to take that with you so that fits in close up the zip fold over the top do up the buckle and you're done that's quite full as I said I wouldn't usually carry that much stuff on a day-to-day -day basis but you can fit it all in it's still very comfortable to carry. The strap uh, does a great job. It still hugs your body and feels great. You can swing it around, get your stuff from the quick access pocket. Not a problem at all. If you did want to fit more stuff in, this is where the fold down design comes into its own, much like the roll top backpacks that you see around these as well. Because there is more room in the top. Uh, you could just put more stuff that you want in the top there, do up the zip on the top, and just carry it like that. Um, I would do that maybe if I was walking home from work and I stopped off at the grocery store, just bought uh, a few small items, chuck them on top, and it uh, fills up that top part, zip it up and carry it like that. I wouldn't recommend 
aiming it like this for a long time or a long distance depending on what's in the top because it can get quite top heavy and doesn't sit quite as well on your side but that certainly is an option that you can do if you need to carry more stuff. So that's it guys, this is the Crumpler Pinnacle of Horror. I love it, personally I love it. It carries exactly what I need it to do on a day to day basis. It is extremely well made, it looks good, it just does what I need it to do. It's not flashy, it's not complicated, it just does what I need it to do. Why wouldn't I buy it? If you're a cyclist, then I can see how this would probably swing around on your back if you're trying to cycle. It doesn't have the third leg stabilizer strap that uh, messenger bags that are built for cyclists do. So if you were a cyclist, then I'm not. Uh, if you were, then maybe this wouldn't be bad for you. If you are really into organisation of your stuff and you like lots of pockets, if you like a little pocket for every individual little thing, this also may not be the bag for you. As uh, we've gone through, there's only the four compartments, which for me is okay. But if you're really into your organisation, then maybe you would prefer something with more pockets. Otherwise, I can really recommend the Crumpler Pinnacle of Horror for your everyday use bag. I've used it pretty much every day for the last three months. I've taken it on buses, I've taken it on trains, I've taken it on planes. It's perfect to fit under the seat in front of you on the plane. With the quick access pocket on the front and the iPad pocket on the back, uh, really great for traveling because you can just get at that stuff that you want to get at quickly. I think it would actually be really good for like a one night business trip as well. For me personally, you know, you've got your laptop, you've got your iPad, then you have your change of shirt, change of underwear, got your toiletries. You can fit all of that in there. So no problems to take it on a one night business trip. An interesting note, I have seen that Crumpler have just in the last couple of months gone through a rebrand. So very exciting to see how that works out for them. And I believe as part of that rebrand, they're bringing out an updated version of the Pinnacle of Horror uh, because I don't think they've changed this for a few years. I think that's it guys. I hope you found this useful. I'll put a link to Crumple's website in the description below. I will be hoping to make more of these videos because I know how much I valued the other reviews on YouTube, so hopefully you find mine as well. So if you are interested in uh, finding out a bit more of how I go about bags and travel gear, hit the subscribe button. I think it's down there. Carry on. Uh, with the notification bell, and then you will get notified whenever I post another video. So let me know any questions that you may have about the Pinnacle of Horror in the comments below or let me know if you do have the Pinnacle of Horror how you find it as well. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much guys. Bye bye.